Welcome to another Cat Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Casey. In today's video, I'm going to cover a new tool released in SOLIDWORKS 2019. This tool is called the Bounding Box. In 2018, this command has introduced part files. New to 2019, this feature can now be applied to assembly files. This enhancement will now enable users to quickly capture overall dimensions of assemblies, specifically length, width, thickness, and volume. This information can be very valuable for determining things like packaging size or space requirements in a larger assembly. Let's learn how to take advantage of this new feature. First, I'll open an assembly that I need to determine some overall dimensions from. To access this new feature, I will go to the Assembly tab of Command Manager and select Reference Geometry, then under Reference Geometry, choose Bounding Box. This command can also be accessed from Insert Reference Geometry or using the Search Commands tool. Once a bounding box command is launched, it will open the Property Manager. The Property Manager only has a couple of options to adjust. First, determine what to use as the reference plane. The best fit option will use the XY plane for the orientation of the bounding box. Choosing the Custom Plane option lets you select a reference face or plane to determine the orientation for the bounding box. I'll choose the best fit option. The last thing to consider is what additional items to include in the bounding box calculation. After selecting the appropriate settings, hit OK, and the bounding box will appear in the graphics area. Hovering the cursor over the bounding box feature in the Feature Manager will display all the bounding box values. The visibility of the bounding box in the graphics area can be toggled on or off by right-clicking the feature and selecting Hide or Show. The bounding boxes can also be used in assembly drawings. Simply create a drawing of the file and turn on the bounding box visibility from View Hide show. Lastly, nodes can be dynamically linked to specific bounding box properties, which will enable them to automatically update as the bounding box values change. I hope this tip helps you take advantage of this new enhancement in SOLIDWORKS 2019. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you back next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.